two of Code Black stars, Marsha Gay Harden and Luis Guzman, join us, and executive producer and fellow ER doctor, Dr. Ryan McGarry. First of all, Dr. McGarry, I have to applaud you. I saw your documentary, Code Black, on which the show is based. And it's just such a realistic look at life in the front line of medicine. And the way you've translated it to this show, two thumbs up. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. And, and so I, I, I have to ask, I practice um, medicine in Gary, Indiana, and I heard the name Code Black, and I thought, does that mean there's so many black people in the waiting room <laughs> that now we're calling a code? Blackish. <laughs> <laughs> so where did the name come from? So Code Black is a, is a term that some hospitals use to designate effectively internal disaster. It means that there's so many patients and so little resources because of that influx of patients that things are kind of out of control. But what it's really about, what it really means, I think what Code Black to show gives you insight is, is, is how as a physician, particularly a training doctor, how are you going to make that connection with your patients and make that human touch happen when it's a total chaotic scene all around you? Well, and it pulls yeah. the curtain back on what life is truly like in the emergency departments of this country. It's chaos. And we like to say at times organized chaos, maybe sometimes disorganized. And the two of you, I know in your roles, have really learned what it's like to practice medicine. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, I go to work. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm showing up to them a TV set. I think I'm showing up to my shift to save lives. Oh. Um, that's my whole attitude, how I approach this. And Louis, most people don't know, you started out as a social worker. Yeah, and, yeah. And a part-time actor. So how has that kind of helped you take on this role? Well, um, I, I, I love helping people to help themselves. Uh, this show is about helping people, saving people, but also part of your own humanity and saving some of these people. Um, they're your neighbors, they're your friends, they're people you might see in the supermarket, they're just total strangers, but you know, there's that humanity that comes from within you to do your job, to say, I'm here for you, I'm here to care for you, we're gonna get you out of here. No matter how much money you have. <laughs> no matter how much money you have, or whether you're covered with insurance or not, yeah. we're here for you because that's the code of being a doctor is to care for the community. As the head ER nurse in the show, you really take these residents under your wing, but Marsha, your responsibility as residency director, you really have to have a commanding presence mm. on that set. Was, was, that, was it easy to adjust into that role of, you're, you're the dictator. I have to say, <laughs> they call my character daddy on the show, and I'm lucky because my father is a naval captain, so he, it used to be Marsha Gay. I'd say, yes, yes, what, yes, sir, okay. <laughs> so I had, I, I understood that kind of um, way of commanding, and, the, and my character has to do that as well. She has to have everybody all the time following uh, a fast, safe, way to save lives. But the other thing about these ER rooms is there's a little MacGyver stuff going on. Like we have this scene that we get to do where we need to do a tourniquet. Okay. And we don't have the right, uh, we, it's a big old leg we need to do a tourniquet on because the artery is just squirting blood. So I say, give me a tourniquet band, rubber band, that leg is too big, that thing is not gonna work. So then we say, now what? Give me a um, blood pressure cuff. We do it, it doesn't work. Then we get a rod, I shouldn't have been giving away all these plot points. <laughs> the CBS is gonna kill me. Right? This is great, this is great. I'm on the edge of my seat. And then what? And that's episode, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then we, you know, we have to make do with the rods and wires and stuff, and this is all what they really do. I feel like when I was following around this ER, these doctors, I feel like someone said, we need to hold the eyes open like with a paper clip or something. I mean, not that that was well, that's, true. Well, that's why we <laughs> call emergency medicine, I mean. you know, you MacGyver it every day.